Now it's Kent Laporte in the I automatic. Out of Laporte Motorsport. And it's Justin Hutto, another 427 powered 1969 Corvette, double A automatic. Something about little red Corvettes. I've mentioned it before. People write songs about little red Corvettes. Not a whole lot of people have written songs about Volvo station wagons. There might be one out there someplace. But really, you don't 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 feel the need to share it with me. I don't I don't want to get a Volvo station wagon song stuck in my head. You know, it'll be kind of like if somebody starts humming the Flintstones, you're thinking about that all the... Oh, sorry. Did I just do that to you? Eh, didn't mean to. So Justin Hutto dialed in at 1021, Kent Laporte at 1152. So we went from a half a bulb to one bulb to a little more than two bulbs head start. But this time it's small block Chevy versus big block Chevy. As Kent Laporte bumps his way ever so gently in with a 91 model Camaro. And Justin Hutto follows suit with the vet. There's the handicap, and here comes that little red Corvette. The 350 and the 427, the one car, two car, red car, blue car. Here comes the finish line. Look for the landing lights on the wall. They say Kent Laporte, by six thousandths of a second, gets the win. 11.54 is two above the dial. Justin Hutto goes four above the dial. Justin was better on the bulb, couldn't run the number. Kent snugs him up six thou at the stripe, and Laporte will be back. 